G'day mates and welcome back to Robotic Rampage. Now last episode we won ourselves a little bit of a war against these red people over here and we now have a massive massive energy deficit and we desperately need to fix that up. First step I think will be to get rid of at least these two worlds. It says we've only got six out of five but I can see quite clearly we have seven. So maybe it just hasn't updated yet. Either way, I think getting rid of these will be the way to go. <clears throat> now I'm concerned I don't particularly want to make the Western Frontier any stronger. So I'm going to make the people over here into a new little... Uh, what's the word? I can figure out how to do it. A new sector. How do I do that? There we go. Create new sector. It's been a while. Okay, we're going to add all of you into this nice big sector up here. Haven't got a name for it, but I think we'll just call it the... I don't know, the Western Slaves or something like that. I'm not particularly inventive. I don't pretend to be. So we'll call you the... Uh, what are they called? Who knows? Western slaves will do. For you guys, uh, you've got no energy, which is a problem. It's a big problem. We're now gaining energy back though, which is a good start. So I'll be able to give you some in the future. For the time being, have 5,000 minerals. You're going to focus on generating energy and we're not going to tax you at all. somehow. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> so taxing them is actually taxing their deficit, so I'm taking on some of their deficit. Uh, no, you guys can do it yourselves. You big boys, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Now, what we need to do is a bit of reconstruction. We've got a pretty good empire here. It's probably a third of the galaxy, and we're really going to need to... Let's start time ticking along normally, anyway. Batharian stone. Okay, it's coming from over there. Hmm. Oh, wait, hang on. How many worlds did I give away? Ah, oh, done it again. Drill core. That's a pain in the ass. Okay, let's go. Let's manage you. Let's take that back. Probably those as well. Drill core is my world. If you've done anything to ruin it, let's have a look. Looks like you haven't. Quickly... Now, there's nothing here I need to worry about just yet. What I really need to worry about is energy. And it doesn't appear to be... Upgrade you. It doesn't appear to be a major way of upgrading my energy any further. Perhaps it'll be worthwhile changing this particular planet over to a higher energy focus. Maybe decrease some of the, the science production. Perhaps. Mm, not sure yet. For now, I'm going to focus on science, but definitely going to need a lot more energy. We're absolutely guzzling the energy down. We're just, we're drinking it like it's going out of fashion. And that is unfortunately a bit of a problem. Doesn't matter. We're back in the green, which is a start. Getting back in the green basically has upped our production. You just saw as that month ticked over, we went from a, uh, a small surplus. We've jumped right up as our production's increased. Our robots are now back on and producing at full efficiency. So when we're in a deficit, they're actually not producing at their full efficiency, which is a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a problem with us because it's a catch-22. We can't produce enough, and then we'd start producing a hell of a lot less. <clears throat> now let's rebuild our drone armadas. It can be drone armada. Drone Armada 1. And how are we going to do this one? I think if we get those two together and merge them, and then you can be Drone Armada 2. And 
whatever you eventually will come back. Yeah, our armies are pretty good for the most part. What we have to do is put you down on a planet because I believe, let's have a quick look at this, I should have upgraded the transport ships here. Construction complete. Hmm. So I should have upgraded the transport ships. They are currently using jump drive. So why are these guys... Are they on jump drive as well? Let's have a look. Yep, they are. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'll bring you back to the center. Um, I have to fix this problem quick smart. Let's have a quick look at this. You have a Batharian power plant? No. I can't see anything that's broken. Maybe it's the other planet. Aha, two Batharian power plants. Okay, what we're going to do is... Are you kidding me? Oh, this game's annoying sometimes. I can't actually deactivate that. So I'm going to give them permission to... Where are we? Allow redevelopment. Okay, they should be able to figure it out themselves. Perhaps not. Okay, where is this sector? You know what? I'm just going to ignore it. Who really cares? They can figure it out themselves. No doubt the AI will figure it out eventually. Okay, look here. We've got all the research done and we're only doing the uh, infinite research now. So edict duration. Probably more leaders is what I could do with for now. So I want to know how strong we are compared to these guys here. They are... We're catching up to them. We're gradually getting there. They have it's like four or five fleets of... Hmm... Yeah, they got a whole bunch of fleets that are about 17 to 20,000. And they're very, very strong. So we're going to keep working on our fleets and our power and eventually challenge them. That is when I'm going to call this game to an end. When I can beat the Aura of Vadox core worlds and enslave all the non-synthetic races in my empire. That's when we'll do it. And somehow we're out of energy again. Why is that? Okay, let's go down to the, oops, the core. Now you have yourself a, what are they called? A crew quarters. So if we bring Drone Armada 1 here, Use you two guys up and find. I think Drill Core should have one too. Apparently not. In that case, we're going to dump the Corvette assembly yards and we're going to put some crew quarters out here in the west. Yep, that's fine. Actually, if we've got that much influence, I should probably do something for energy. I have been pointed out there is Immortal Synthetics here. I do know that it is there, but I have decided against using it. It wasn't in the mod originally when I started playing. And I do like the idea that we, our uh, robots do actually wear out at some point in the future. And die. Construction complete. We got here Particle Lands. Let's go for a... Go a Tachyon Lands. That might be kind of interesting. Now, is there anything for more energy? Not really. They're only individual for each planet. So I'm not going to bother with that just yet. Anyway, you can go to Drill Core. I'll get you in orbit. That should cut down our energy usage quite significantly. Stormfire Cannon. Kinetic Artillery. We may as well grab that. We don't really need the mineral income. We're maxed out. Mm. Okay, we have ourselves a war by, is it just them? Yep, just the Tabaris Commonwealth. Okay, this is going to be interesting. We're going to liberate all our planets. And it's these guys up here, the Commonwealth of Tabaris. And currently, as far as I can tell, it's only them. Yep, only them versus myself and our weak little ally up here. 
vassal. They're probably going to... How are they going to get to us? Unless I've got... Mm, they don't have movement through there. They can come around, I suppose. Or they can... I have no idea how they're going to come in and attack us. I assume it's going to be up here. So we are going to station drone Armada 1 up here in this system just to react if anything happens. Now we do need the energy. It's a problem. So let's have a quick look at this planet. You're going to need a upgrade. And unfortunately I can't build anything just yet. Water range is awesome. Okay, I don't know where they're coming in. They're not attacking us yet. Okay, they're coming over here. Interesting. I'm going to throw in some war demands. There's not much that I can really do. Can't make a tributary. Humiliate would be worthwhile, perhaps. Um, I don't really need them to seed any planets at this point. I think I would be liberating could be an option, but I'm going to go for just to humiliate. That's all I really need. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go. It's not going to be a long war, this particular one. Okay, let's bring Drone Armada 2 up. See if we can catch them up here. Now, how are they going to be moving? They appear to be on the hyperlanes because they're very quick. Yeah, they're on hyperlanes, I think. Ooh, they are quick. So obviously they can come through here, which means if I can block off this particular one over here, we may be able to actually stop them from entering. They definitely appear to be hyperlane. So you... Come up. Hostile fleet detected. Hostile fleet detected. Um, where are they going now? So that is 12,000. You are 13,000. This is a 12,000 fleet as well. Let's jump in. Let's jump in here, see if we can stop them. Hostile nope. Fleet nope. Let's Station actually inside. get them directly. Let's engage them. Research complete. Nope, oh, we've missed them. Come on, take them. Come on, they're too quick. How can we do this? Well, that's where they're coming in. So what I can do is they're coming in from Dongar. Does Dongar are part of my... I can't actually see. No, it's part of theirs. So I'm going to come into Spectrum here and build myself a military station. A Goliath class fortress right here. Hopefully that will stop them from being able to jump around so quickly. Now how are we gonna do this? You can come down to Dongar as well and guard there. I Meanwhile well, this fleet is gonna try and track them down. They're just they're too quick. I can't get there in time. Station under attack. Station under attack. Where? Oh, okay. We've got some research. Let's go for... I don't know. May as well go better. Fighters. Uh, how am I going to catch you? You're too quick. Where am I under attack? What station's under attack? Okay, you're in here and you're attacking a station. So... That was stupid. Uh, would we go down here? Take him out. Station under attack. Actually, gonna have to bring you in as well. They're too powerful for one fleet to take out. Under okay. Fleet okay, if we can get them before they run, we can tie them up. Hopefully, long enough for our other fleet to come in. Station under attack. Ooh, wow, their fighters are ripping us apart. Oh, come on, they're too quick. How do I catch them? <laughs> I'm 
Not good. I'm going to get the smaller fleet to come back here and protect this station. Station under attack. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet detected. Situation log updated. Construction ship under attack. Hostile fleet detected. Fleet engaged. No, they're ripping us apart here. Can I catch them? Can I catch anything? Station under attack. Hostile fleet detected. Hostile fleet detected. Okay, we're after them. Go. Come on, guys. Get them. Okay, we've caught them. We've finally engaged them. So we've got our long range. They appear to have a lot of heavy ships, which is where their power is tied up. Six, seven, four, two. We need a lot more smaller ships. Which could be a problem, because I think I've removed flat cannons from a lot of the smaller ones. It might be more useful to put them back on if we're going to be facing missiles like that. And, ooh, attack from behind as well. Okay. We might have been knocked out here. Why do I not have a leader? Why do I have a leader? Gosh darn it. Uh, let me think about this. Is there any way I can get themselves a leader? I need to pull out because they are going to kill us. Maybe. Yeah, they're going to kill us, so I need to get out and give them a leader. Somehow they've all unequipped themselves. <sighs> not good, not good. I think we can jump back in. We've taken a lot of damage, but we might be able to jump back in. Hopefully a leader will make all the difference here. Hmm, not sure. I think I may have just shot myself in the foot by not repairing. Actually, I'm probably better off cancelling and sending them back to repair. Meanwhile, these guys, who do have a leader, are engaging here. It's going to be... Well, it's a fight we're going to win. Because we have a leader, they don't, and we were fairly evenly balanced. They do make a huge difference. Looks like our energy weapons are... Let's have a look here. Yeah, it looks like our energy weapons are breaking through. They've got a much better mix than us. Although we get a better evasion ratio. Yeah, it looks like we can beat them in a straight up fight. Provided we can engage everything at once. Now they've jumped through that warp gate and looks like they've destroyed our dude. I'm actually going to get you to come up and research that project. They may have something that I don't. Ah, these wars are difficult. I need something that's a bit quicker. Okay, we're nearly fully repaired. We might be able to actually jump in here. Uh, they're a bit weak. That's the big one there. Station under attack. Now unfortunately they're just ripping through and attacking everywhere. They can't actually get in in force. So if I can trap... Okay, they're going that way. I'm going to assume that they're going to head there. like I was right, but we may not get there in time. No, jeez. Wow, these are really slow. <sighs> okay, where could they possibly be going? They could be heading to Tabizi. Come on guys, jump, jump. But you're going to get out before I get there in time, I think. Yep, gone. Maybe they're heading back here. In which case, if I jump out here, I might be able to catch them. Yep, definitely looks like where they're going. They're retreating. They're trying to get out of space. 
So we have them here. That's where they're going to be coming in. Gotcha! And... What I can do is actually bring Drone Armada 2 back. Because they're going to be coming in as well. I can catch their entire fleet in one go. Hostile fleet engaged. Station under attack. Uh, where's that? Okay, so they're fighting in Soyun. Gives me a chance to knock out a good portion of their fleet here. Ah, uh, no, they retreated. Where did they retreat to? What? Oh, okay. You're still using jump drives. What I want is for you to jump in. What oh, could probably be worthwhile doing is putting on my battleships the things that prevent them from jumping. Oh, hang on. Have they just come back? Oh, awesome. Smashed them. We got them. We got the entire fleet down. Now what we can do is get both these armadas to jump on these guys. Now they're coming in here to destroy our spaceport there. What we can do is jump in and yeah, we've got them. We've caught them. Station under attack. Now they're locked in with that station. That's fine. They're going to kill the station. But I can accept that. Station under attack. Station under attack. Have I turned sound back on with that guy? Because that voice is really, really annoying. Apparently it's reset. Let's keep you a little bit quieter. Okay, we've caught them. Good stuff. We've got you. We have 23,000. We've nearly double your power. Okay, they got a lot more long range power than us, but we are, I believe, closing in. Once we get closer, then we can really unleash on them. <clears throat> yeah, we're winning. We're pushing back. They're probably going to retreat very shortly. We haven't lost too badly. Yeah, okay, they've retreated. Where have they retreated to? Back to Liam. If I can give a leader to a fortress. It's an interesting concept. Uh, it's not going to win though. They're going to just keep... See, static defences are just too weak in this game to really bother. I mean, 4,500 damage, or 4,500 attack power, and there's fleets running around easily of 20,000 or more. So, not going to happen. Um, interesting though, might buy me a little bit of time, but I think they're going to have more fleets coming in right now. Ah, that's their fleet, maybe? Yeah, it looks like that's them up there. So we might actually be able to even jump in and save them. This could be possible. We're not going to get there in time to save that, but we might be able to get there in time to actually engage them. Nope, not at all. And actually, this is recovering. That's kind of cool. Uh, looks like I can't give it a leader, though. Which is a bit shit. Okay, we're going to need... Let me think about this. Might as well grab that. And you are border range, so we're going to grab... Probably army health would be useful. Okay, where have they gone? They've retreated. Okay, they're following him, that's good. Sadly, this thing is going to get ripped apart. Too bad, at least survived. Nope, it's actually retreated. Okay, I'm going to get you to come up here. Can I build another one of these babies? Uh, not really. Let's throw one there. And another one. Actually, I've got a better idea. Let's cancel that. 
Head like cancel your jobs. There we go. Stop that. What we're going to do is I'm actually going to design a new ship. I'm going to create a... Oh, this game's difficult to use sometimes. I'm going to create a new design. It's going to be a fortress. We're going to need two hangar slots for range. And we're going to want one medium and one light station. Now the light station is going to... See how much range have they got? Quite a bit. Okay. It's the bombers there and the fighters. Now here we're going to be putting on a good range. I actually would like to use that. Probably not enough range though. So I'm going to go a heavy station. I'm going to try it. It's got 120 range. You've got 80 is not enough. 120, 14 damage, 14. You do armor and shields. You do just armor. I'm going to throw those two on. And this one's going to take out smaller ships. So I'm thinking 60 range. Plasma cannons might be a good way of doing it. I could put missiles on actually. Missiles are probably much better. Hmm. No, I can't put them there. Flak. What does flak do? It's point defense. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Large point defense. That's kind of cool. I should put a couple of those on. I might actually put one of those on. I'm going to put one flak artillery on. I'm going to try it out. See if that actually makes a difference. And medium range, we're going to go... Let's go plasma cannons. I like green. Okay, that's all I complete that. That appears to be acceptable. Okay, we're going to call this the... Long range defense. Huh, I can't put E, but I can put R. Score long range. Ah, score it long range. Cedar. There you go, keep that Series 9 theme going. Now that's a new design. Now, what I can do here is bring my construction ship in to build the long range Cedar. Okay, well, obviously can't build it there until that ticks over it. And then queue up and then build you there. Now hopefully what that'll allow me to do is to provide backup support with the fighters to these two here. For, from these two to this point here. Hopefully that'll allow us to lock this area down just a little bit better because right now our gate is open. I mean they still can come down this way. And that's something I'm going to have to... Actually, I now control this sector. Yeah, I could throw another one in here. That would be awesome. What I might be better off doing is bringing Drone Armada 2 in here now. And locking it down right there. You're going to go back and repair. And I'm actually going to call this episode here. It went on just a little bit longer than I was thinking. So, I've been BLXZ. This has been... Stellaris robotic rampage make sure to tune in next time and smash that thumbs up button if you do indeed enjoy the content take care